Okay, so this is a little look at Hosand itself. What I've done here is I've set up a simulation model. So I have included 15 players. And you'll see quite a few colors and, and graphs going on, so I'll explain them as we go. So you'll see down the left-hand side there, I have athlete 1 to 15. And you can obviously name them so they can be your players' names, and so it's easier to follow who's doing what. And basically each athlete is wearing the chest belt and the receiver or the sender and this information is being fed live back to your laptop and will appear more or less as you're looking at it right now. So what are we seeing? Well basically corresponding with each with each player is a bar chart and it's a particular colour which I'll get to in a minute. But at the end of the bar chart you'll see the various numbers 63, 78, 62 so on. Basically what that is, it's a percentage of their maximum heart rate. So each player's percentage of maximum heart rate is being displayed to you, the coach, as the training is happening or as the match is happening. So you can immediately see that down the bottom here, player 15, he's performing at 80 to 90% of his maximum heart rate, while some of the other players have yet to reach sort of 60, 65%. So what does that tell you? The little bit of information on the left hand side of the web page you're looking at you'll see a rough guide to what each training zone corresponds to so the benefit of watching the players live is that you can one you can you can see who's performing and at what level but also if this was a training session and you think you're doing speed for example you know that there's there's really only two or three players that are anywhere near um, anaerobic heart rate where while the rest are in recovery or in endurance. So immediately, if you were monitoring a training session like that, you'd have to stop it and assess whether you're actually training what you think you are. So we go into a, a little bit more detail. So you can go to the personal tab here, and you'll see that you can then look at, at each, tr each player individually. So I can go to the all grouped one, and I've set some training zones. So I've set where the green, the yellow, and the red bars will be, and at what level. I consider it to be going from one to the other. So how I do that is I just click on this button in the top left and I can change the parameters. So let's say I wanted to change my green zone to 20% up to 45%, let's say, and then my yellow from 45 to 85, as an example. You'll see that immediately my graph changes and the color on the right-hand side here changes as well. So immediately I can look at this list and I can see accordingly how many are in green, how many in red, yellow, and so on. And I can individualize this for each player. So if I tap down to athlete one, I can set different guidelines for this player because each player is going to have different a different maximum heart rate. Um, so it's important that it corresponds to, to those. And as you'll see, as I flick down, you can see each player has their own, their own graph can change for each one. Some of the other smaller graphs that you can go into, there's one here and that will tell you the time spent in each zone. So you can see for this player, for example, the bar chart represents the number of minutes he spent in each training zone. So again, you'll know at the end of the training session or at the end of the match exactly how long he's spending and what he's doing during the game. It's also represented by a pie chart as well. So it'll give you the corresponding time for each zone. So Hosand is really a live heart rate monitoring system so you can monitor exactly what your players are doing and whether that corresponds to the training you should be doing at the moment or in the future.